Hi and welcome to Lincoln to Fen Crafts needle felting tutorials. I'm really looking forward to teaching you how to needle felt this Highland cow. Welcome back to how to needle felt a Highland cow and this is part three. Uh, this is where we have all our body parts assembled. So we've got the legs here, the ears, the head and the body and we're going to start putting it all together. So the first thing we're going to do is start with attaching the legs to the body. I just want to check the body first. Highland cows are really stocky and I've got a bit of a, a sort of ridge going on on this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the flat area to be the top of the cow. Now if you haven't got a flat area then just felt it flat in the areas that are slightly curved. It's not too important this but just gives us a nice base for building up and shaping and don't worry too much if, if everything's not even it doesn't matter absolutely it's the whole thing is going to be covered in this wool top so you're not even going to see see the body at all but it's it's good to get the the shape right underneath so we can build it up now you can use a, a multi-tool if you want to single needle is just fine And for the rest of the tutorial, I'll just be using a single needle. Okay, so that, that's the top part of the cow, so that's nice and flat. A few needle marks there, which you can rub out with your hands, but again, pointless. Not going to see it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so, legs. What you want to do is use an old pair of scissors don't get your best fabric scissors and we're just going to cut these through the middle I know it seems a bit brutal but trust me so then we've got our four legs as you can see that's the pipe cleaner in the middle and then what you want to do is just loosen the wool around the top area where the pipe cleaner is because we're going to use this to attach that to the side of the body and that just helps us to get a really nice firm grip but we're going to be adding a lot of wool on top of this okay so you want your legs right near to the front and back of the um, of the body you don't want them towards the center you want them really close to the back and front ends so hold it with your finger and that wool that we've just pulled off and separated is what we're going to needle felt first now if you've over felted and you haven't been able to pull that wool apart just get some fresh wool and pop it on top because that's what we're going to be doing anyway but it's just to position it roughly and get it started and just watch that finger. I'm holding it slightly awkwardly because um, I want you to be able to see. I don't want to obscure the, the vision of the camera. So there you can see just a few pokes with the needle and that's started to hold. And be careful as you go down. So then hold this end and just work down. And just use your needle gently and slide it down past the pipe cleaner in the centre of each leg. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull that down a little bit because I know straight away that I've got that too high. So at this point you can, you can still jiggle it around quite a bit because a lot of this leg is going to be covered. So I don't really want to lose too much of it. So pop that on. Now it's, it's attached and it's quite um, loose at the moment, which you would expect it to be. And just make sure that it's still quite close to the, the back end. So I can just about pick that up now. Now, so what I'm going to do now is take just a small piece of the, the same colour wool and just pop that over 
the leg there and we're going to start building this up to create some shape. Remember Highland cows are really chunky beasts. Um, I always work from photographs as well. I always think it helps. It helps me a lot. Um, it helps you. You look at the face shape. So don't don't fat needle felt what you think it is. Have a look at a photograph. So can you see now? We're starting to to build this up. And just felt that on till it's secure and use this um, use your needle to push that wool down the sides of the legs and tangle up the existing wool that's wrapped around the legs in with the new wool. Okay, so we've flattened that down. We've felted that, that's beginning to become really quite secure now. I'm just going to take some more wool. And I'm just going to felt a little further down with this, just to secure the top of the leg where it first meets the body. Just so that it doesn't wag about and it just really helps the stability. And just use your needle to, to bring up any wool. Again, don't worry about lines, lumps, bumps. You're not going to see any of this. Just focus on getting it nice and secure. Can you see how, how that's really starting to take hold? And just felt in any loose wool. Okay, so now we're actually going to start building that um, that shape up. So take some more wool again, just a little pad. You don't need to do anything with it. Just create a little pad with your fingers and pop that over the top. Now we're not going to felt as flat as we did just previously because now that we've secured it, we want to start maintaining some of the shape. You see, you like there, and building that up. We still want to felt it all over, but just not as rigorously and as firmly as we did before. So we're going to pop another little layer on, and remember, look, these are just small pinches. We just roll them, pop them on. You you you, you can scrunch them up in your hands if you want. I just I just kind of I think that creates that nice shape when you've rolled it up. You've got those um, folded edges and you can actually see how it's going to be. And now we're going to felt even more gently. So we'll get the, the sides nice and firm, but this bit here, we want to keep quite soft. And that's really all there is to attaching the leg on. It's quite easy. Just be careful that you don't catch that needle on the pipe cleaner. So that's why I'm doing sort of short stabbing motion where it's, so it's not hitting it too hard. And this is a 38 standard as well, so it's, it's quite a strong needle. Can take a bit of stick. And if you're using the 36, even more so. I use the 38 because I can use this for the, the whole of the, the animal, I can use it for the eyes, for little details. Because it's a firm felt, I'm not too concerned about um, distorting any of the, the shape. If I was doing like a soft felted sculpture, then I'd probably switch to um, a 40 uh, gauge needle. Right, there we go. So can you see? It's not pretty, but it's not supposed to be. It's just supposed to shape it and do the job. And that's it. And then what you do is 
get all these loose bits here. You then let's have a look, see which we've like we've got here. Those two belong there, I believe. We're going to do the same on the other side, and then we're going to repeat it for the front legs as well, close to the front. So I will let you continue with those legs until you've got all four attached and then we'll pop back and we'll carry on. So all the legs are now attached as you can see so from all angles and it should stand quite nicely on its own Looks a bit like a table from from above quite flat now if it's going to wobble at all just check the legs and make sure that they are the same length. If they're not, you can just jiggle them, pull them, you know, you can be quite rough with this. And make sure that stands nice and securely. So where have we got the wobble here? So we've got a wobble just here, so I'm just going to pull that leg slightly and then that's fixed it. Now if you wanted to here, you don't have to, but if you're a bit of a perfectionist and you want to sort of cover up these lumps, you could just lay some wool over the top and then just felt that for neatness. But it's it's not even cosmetic because it's not even going to be seen. Um, so entirely up to you. I'm not going to bother. Don't think it needs it. Okay, so we're going to move on to attaching the neck to the head. So you have, you've got your head here, we've got the neck that we made earlier in the previous tutorial with the ends that are quite loose. So looking at your head, decide which end well you're going to attach it to. That looks pretty even so I don't think it matters. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that, the neck, onto the back base of the head there and those loose bits we're just going to work around just those loose ends until it starts to hold and you can see already I've been able to let that go because we've got that nice fresh loose wool it felt really easily If you had over felted the ends and you find it was a bit tricky to um, catch the wool then just pop some fresh wool underneath. Can you see how that's attaching nicely now? And you want it quite close to the back of the head. And it's a little bit long this neck but it will shorten as we go and I will show you how we do that. But the more you poke that wool into the head the more secure it becomes quite secure now that and also that will actually shorten the neck and if you go through from the top like so and just keep pushing through that will draw that wool down and you can also go from the sides at a diagonal angle and that will do the same but by the time we've got this attached to the body, it's actually going to be quite a lot shorter because this is quite loose. But again, once it's on, if we need to, we can shorten that just by poking through at different angles. And you can also use your hands to squish things down. Okay, have a look at the body and decide which end the head is going to go on. Now if you've got an end that's slightly higher I would always always put the head on that end so with me and my structure here this end slightly higher when it's stood up so it's going you know, up at an angle. So what I'm going to do is and it just what that means is when you attach it if the, the end that's slightly raised just gives you a better um, visual when it's all made up and completed. Hold the 
hold the neck here with your hands and just right at the front catch that loose wool and felt it into the body. If you can hear a noise behind me there is um, a storm raging it's wild and wet so this is perfect activity so quite loose still but now we've got those attached and just pop our hands there and just keep working around don't worry if the position is wrong it probably will be mine is because we will attend to that once it's more firmly secure and just be careful of your fingers when you're doing this so can you see I'm, I'm working around the bottom of that neck where that loose wool was you see that's starting to hold now and I'm going to keep working around really being quite forceful with your needle here you want to get that wool drawn into the body so that the body, uh, the wool from the body and the wool from the neck are actually starting to tangle together. So you can be quite forceful here. You haven't got any wires to worry about because the wires are just on the legs. I tend not to use um, wires for most things apart from the legs for stability or if I want to pose something. Sometimes when I'm doing sheep I'll maybe put a little wire in the neck just so I can pose the head a little bit easier. But um, I like normally I like quite a firm felt so I tend to just do the legs and tails tails are quite good if you want to sort of if you've got like a fox tail or a mouse tail and you want to um, especially with the mice if you want to really sort of um, put a nice bend or two in it looks really good or if you're making a cat then I would always um, recommend popping some wire um, for the tail Okay, so as you can see, that's caught quite nicely. It's a bit off-centre, but that's okay, because what we can do is we can just pull that over quite forcefully, put our finger there, and just hold that. And then I'm going to start working just from the top here, because I just want to shorten this neck a little bit now. It's looking quite skinny at the moment, but I'll just show you something a really quick, easy way to just widen that neck it's looking a bit llama like for um for a highland cow at the moment but remember this is going to be covered with that top coat which lifts quite a bit so much of this will be obscured but we kind of want to beef it up a bit and just secure it a bit more and just make sure it's not going too far back there we go so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take a strip of wool and I'm just going to from the back round the front like you're wrapping a scarf round see and that's just to widen this neck a little bit And then just pull it round the back and actually down the back. This is not absolutely necessary, but I just thought that neck was looking a little bit skinny. But that's the beauty of needle felting. It's best to have something smaller than you need because you can always build it up from there. It's much more difficult once you've felt it. Well, when you've felt it something quite firmly, you can't undo it. Um, so always best to start with less than you think you need. And then probably a bit less than that because it's quite deceiving how little um, will you actually need to create these shapes. Again, not being too precious about how tidy it is. Just make sure it's secure. And can you see how that's widened that neck now and then what we're going to do is just use our needle just to draw it up under the head 
so we haven't got a seam because that area will probably be visible I'm not sure if you can hear the church bells. We, we're really lucky. We live we live by a church in the village, and um, it's really nice hearing the the church bells every hour. There we go. So that's pretty much it. And you may just want to work on that a little bit more push through again you can push through from the the top of the neck into the head a little bit more now if you just want to secure that some more so that does need to be nice and firm so you can stand it on its head and just poke through that way that's better so we've built up that neck now and that's looking really good okay so that's ready for the next stage so in the next part I think we're going to pop on some horns um, then we're going to add some face details, which will really um, start bringing it all together. And then we'll be ready for the um, the top coat and the ears as well. Mustn't forget the ears. Okay, I'll see you in the uh, the next tutorial. <laughs>